I want to say something about the history of this because it, there's a story associated with it. It's called the hat check problem. And the, uh, the story is that that's really how this problem got started. So many uh, centuries ago, when fine couples would go to the opera, the men would wear hats. And as they would check into the opera, they would go to the hat check person and turn in their big fancy hat. And they'd be given a coupon, and the hat check person would put the hat in a slot. And then at the end, you would return your, your coupon and get your hat back. But the story is that 100 couples go to the opera, and the hat check person uh, wanders off in the middle with all the receipts. And someone else is now put in charge. And doesn't have any of the, uh, loses uh, the connection between the receipts and the hats. And so now this person just grabs a hat and gives it, grabs a hat, gives it to the hundred men. So the question is, how likely is it that nobody gets their own hat? If you were a gambling person, which I, I don't, encourage this. I, you know, gambling, is, the only time you should gamble is when you play the Georgia lottery. And you should never play the Georgia lottery. It's a really bad gamble. But yes, you should always play the Georgia lottery because you are the beneficiaries. But if I said to you, you can bet a dollar and if Nobody gets their right hat back, you win $10. Does that sound like a good bet? How about a dollar even up? A dollar, if you bet and nobody gets their right hat, you get the dollar back. Or you, get, you win $1. You, you bet a dollar to win a dollar. You know, so, so there's some point at which you're beginning to think, oh, this, this, this looks, sounds like a pretty good deal. Where do you think the threshold is? What is the probability that nobody gets their right hat? What's the probability that nobody gets their right hat? 